So now we're going to look at um, question two for week four. And it says adapt the simple recursive crawler to take a single command line argument, which is a URL, and print out the number of links at depth one, depth one and two, depth one, two and three. So here's the solution to that. So I started off with the simple recursive crawler. The first thing I did was um, change the name of the class here to because it's a new it's a new program. Uh, I didn't change uh, visit at all. Um, and I didn't change this visit. This visit takes a URL and a depth. But I'm going to in my main. I'm going to change how I call it. Before we had two command line arguments which was a URL and a depth. Now we just want a single command line argument that we're going to call our visit method here, our second visit method uh, with um, the second argument being one, the second argument being two and the second argument being three. So there we're doing it one, two and three. Um, first of all I so if I call, if I store in my hash set s the result of visiting arg0 and 1, what will that do? That will produce all the um, links at depth 1 from that, from that, from, from whatever URL I type as the command line argument. So I store that in s, in my hash set of strings s. Similarly, in my hash set of strings t, I store the result of visiting to a depth of 2 um, all the um, command line arguments and similarly for three and then I sim simul I simply uh, take the union of s and t that's the ones at depth one and the ones at depth two and store that in k and and then um, for the ones of depth three I take the union of that with k and store that in m so this so this will be the ones of depths one two and three this will be the depth the ones at depth one and two and I just sim I just simply print out the size of M because it asks me for the number number of links at each of those depths. So at each stage, I print the size of the of the um, set rather than the elements in it. So if I point it at this one, for example, what happens? So I say Java silly simple crawler and I give it say that so it finds 13 at depth 1 there's some warning messages because it's trying to uh, parse um, uh, files which aren't in fact HTML because they're links to the, for example there's a link to this file which is a PDF file and it's trying to parse it and it can't it's not an HTML file, so that gives a warning, but it shouldn't affect the um, output of the of this silly simple crawler here. So we're waiting for it to do the ones of depth one and two. While it does that, we'll have another look at the code here. This is the important method. It takes a URL and a depth. Um, if the depth is zero, we simply return the URL. Otherwise, um, we find all the ones at we find all the ones at depth one from that, and we simply. Uh, then from those we find all the ones at depth minus one. So in other words, we'll end up the w we'll end up finding the ones at depth depth because here we're going one level down. The visit goes one level down, and then this this visit here goes depth minus one levels down. And notice my program's finished. So it found 219 at depth two and 7,282 links at depth three. Notice how quickly these numbers get bigger so be careful don't go if you don't go too deep otherwise you'll find your program takes 
a very long time to stop.